articles of impeachment against Attorney General Merrick Garland. Since Merrick Garland took over as Attorney General, he has completely weaponized the Department of Justice to the point under his control it has become the Department of Injustice. The politic politicization of the DOJ has resulted in the persecution of the left's political enemies and a two-tier justice system. Garland is using the FBI as the personal police force for his boss, Joe Biden. He has launched investigations into everyone, from parents who protest their local school boards to former and future President Donald J. Trump. Nothing short of election interference. His corruption knows no bounds. While Antifa and BLM terrorists have caused billions of dollars in property damage and taken lives, Garland instead persecutes Americans who engaged in legitimate political protest, people who were overwhelmingly nonviolent, many of them just walking through the Capitol. Garland's total politicization and perversion of the American justice system has only one remedy, impeachment. Yesterday, I also introduced articles of impeachment against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Since assuming office, Secretary Mayorkas has aided and abetted the complete invasion of our country by deliberately flooding our nation with drugs, terrorists, and illegal aliens. Mayorkas has allowed approximately 6 million illegal border encounters and 1.4 million known gotaways. But how many more don't we even know about? He has intentionally diverted resources away from our borders, stopped construction of the border wall, and broke existing laws by allowing mass parole for illegal aliens. Mayorkas ended President Trump's Remain in Mexico policy and we are back to the days of catching and releasing illegal aliens directly into the United States. Mayorkas stated under oath that we have operational control of our borders. He lied to the American people, he lied under oath, and he has blatantly violated his oath of office. Secretary Mayorkas must be impeached. It is with the highest amount of solemnity that I announce my intention to introduce articles of impeachment today on the head of this America at Last executive branch that has been working since January 20th, 2021 to systematically destroy this country. The President of the United States, Joseph Robinette Biden. Joe Biden has deliberately compromised our national security by refusing to enforce immigration laws and secure our border allowed approximately 6 million illegals from over 170 countries to invade our country, deprive Border Patrol of the necessary resources and policies sufficient to protect our country. And his administration has willfully refused to maintain operational control as required by the law. He has allowed fentanyl, the number one killer of Americans between the age of 18 and 45 to overwhelmingly flood into our country and kill around 300 Americans every single day. These aren't just Americans, these are people's family members. These are their sons, their daughters, their brothers, their sisters, their mothers, their fathers, their cousins, aunts and uncles. These are American families. His administration has lost complete contact with approximately 85,000 unaccompanied illegal alien children. And his policies have forced tens of thousands of illegal children into slave labor. Where are these kids? No one even knows. It's, hor it's horrible. Joe Biden has reinstated catastrophic and disastrous catch and release policies which have allowed illegals to flood, to flood our country and our communities. 
He ended Remain in Mexico and reinstated catch and release. Under Biden's command, the Secretary of Homeland Security has illegally granted mass parole to aliens when U.S. federal law only permits parole to be granted on a specific case-by-case -case basis. He endangered the lives of Americans by allowing illegal aliens who had tested positive for COVID-19 to enter our country and infect American citizens, yet while enforcing strict COVID policies on American citizens. His policies, directives, and statements surrounding the southern border have violated our laws and destroyed our country. Biden has blatantly violated his constitutional duty, and he is a direct threat to our national security. Therefore, Joseph Robinette Biden is unfit to serve as the President of the United States and must be impeached. Out in the real world, where American taxpayers live, employees are fired when they are corrupt or aren't adequately serving their employer or purposely destroying a country, a company. In this case, the employer is the American people because they pay the salaries they pay the salaries of everyone in the federal government. The Constitution outlines a very simple process to fire the corrupt officials serving in the federal government, impeachment. Matthew Graves, Christopher Wray, Merrick Garland, Alejandro Mayorkas, and Joe Biden are all corrupt and unfit to hold office, and they all must be impeached. This concludes impeachment week. And now I can take questions. Yes. I think um, Mayorkas is definitely uh, the easiest one to impeach on my list. Um, but I would argue that Christopher Ray would be second. Today, there's a weaponization of government going on this morning.